the hell is that? There's a school of big GTs just going through the shallows here. They're going for it, they're going. <laughs> what an absolute beauty. There's a huge hole here. Look at the size of that. So good. And welcome back to the episode. Yeah, welcome back, guys. We have got the craziest story to tell you guys. Yeah, this story is absolutely insane, but we'll tell you more about that in a second. Now we've got a very small window of opportunity to head across to a neighboring island to try and catch dinner. Yep. So we were there yesterday and we literally let dinner slip through. I let dinner slip through my hands. We're going back for redemption. That's where the giant mud crabs live and we've got to get one today. So let's go tell you about this yarn in a second. To the next island. To the next island. It's windy. Tell us what you saw last night. So last night the craziest thing happened. About 7.30 p.m. We were on the beach sitting by the campfire. We'd just finished dinner. And I look up at the sky and I go to Fran. Fran, what the hell is that? Something I've never seen. So there was at one point in time there was 10 bright lights moving at an angle of about 45 degrees and they kept coming and kept coming and kept coming till I would say there was at least 20 of them. And they'd get to a point in the sky where they would then just slowly disappear, almost as if they were disappearing into a black hole. These lights were so bright that they definitely weren't stars. They moved at the same speed as each other. They weren't aeroplanes, they weren't helicopters, they were nothing that my knowledge knows we can we can do. So to me, they're an unidentified flying object. So we have since found out what that crazy UFO sighting was that we saw last night. You'll have to watch to the end of the episode and we'll let you know what it was. It was absolutely crazy. Here we go again in the shallow country trying to get over there where the dead trees are. And I'm spotting for bombings. All clear. There's so many turtles in the shallow. <laughs> Bye. Look at that net. It's a huge net. I wonder if it's coming down from Indo. Looks brand new. There's a stingray here. Hi, mate. Look at all those fish. Look at the rubbish fish. How pretty is this spot? Beautiful, hey? Yeah. It looks like we can sort of bush bash through here and try and find the mangroves on the other side. Let's go have a look. This looks like a very likely spot. And there's lots of out and hot. There'd definitely be one in here, but it's impossible hole. It's like Oh that one. Dog legs back that oh, way wow. and you can't can't yeah. get to it. We'll find a good one. I'll film down there and see if there's anyone home. <laughs> that looks so good that one. Yeah. All right, so the game plan is we're walking in amongst the mangroves. If we see a good hole, it's a likely crab hole. First of all, we just put the, the blunt end of the spear down and tap, tap, tap. Uh, he'll let you know if there's a big buck in there. And then from there, we'll torch down in the hole and try and get a gauge of which way he's sitting and then how we can go about getting him out. Awesome scenery, isn't it? That's the white sandy beach with the corals straight into the muddy, murky, mangrovey water. <laughs> Yeah, what a transition. This island is amazing. It's got a bit of everything, it's got isn't it? got it all. Look at this spider web. So intricate. This one is even bigger. So many weird things stuck in the mangroves. Oh, wow. It's a pretty conch shell. Oh, pretty. There's a school of big GTs just going through the shallows here, once again circling these bait fish and then smashing through them. There's like medium sized ones and then there's a giant black one. I think I've probably just got enough time to run offshore, grab the fishing rod and then come back. Man, I've got to have a cast at these guys now, I've got a rod.
how cute is this? I had to run out to the boat to get the rod and Fran comes after me with the spear to defend off any crocodiles. <laughs> Put your boots on and everything. Yeah. What a... ready. All right, now let's go catch this GT. You can have the first car. Oh, thank you. Whoa, we did big rod. Yeah, big rod. All right, let's go while they're still up there. Underneath, there's a couple of birds diving on them. Right underneath there is that bait school. Oh, here they are. Here they are, Fran, going through them. See, there's that big black school in the middle of them. Nice. That's coming, coming straight towards them. Oh, they're going for it. They're going, it. they're going for it. They're going for it. There's a frenzy. Yeah. There's a frenzy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, what a strike. That was crazy. The whole school was going for it. I hope you can see it on the GoPro. They're, they're all going for they it. They were, weren't they? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for letting me go. But I thought you were going to get towed in and start water skiing behind it there for it for the first hit. Sight casting GTs in clear water it doesn't get much better than that for a fisherman. You're walking up the beach. Great technique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get him. Whoa. Ready? Yeah. Bring him up. Yeah. Well done. What an absolute beauty. Wow. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank Woo. you. Oh, just fell out. What an absolute beauty! I know, it's a big, it's a big one, boy, eh? Shallow. Well done. All right, let's take him out a little bit deeper and then just lower him down. Can I get your shirt wet? Yeah, yeah, it's right, it needs a wash. Woo! Off he goes. That was unreal, friend. Well done. So good. And I think. All these bait fish down here will be breathing a little sigh of relief momentarily until he gets his breath back. This looks like a good one. Oh, anyone home? Hmm, doesn't look like anyone is on this one. Keep going. Well, that is a good sign. Out there looks good. Oh, we could hand spear this big school of rabbit fish here. Hopefully give you guys a look at them. See that big school of rabbit fish? Oh, you couldn't miss at the moment. They're pretty good eating those ones. Come up in the trees here. We're over the, the ocean now. Uh, looking down gives me a bit of a vantage point to see if there's any crabs. Or any desirable fish getting around through here. Look what we came across. This is a really good sign that there is a bigger male in the area. Stinky. Probably can't eat that one, but it's fresh. There's a huge hole here. Fran thinks she spotted one. Get him. Oh. oh, actually, I'll be able to grab him, eh? All right, guys, I think we found the culprit for that nipper. <laughs> oh, oh. His jacket's coming in and taking oh, over the situation. How the hell did you get They're that? Too big that? for their own holes. Oh, my can't fit out. goodness, huge! <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, we're gonna get out of these midges. away from these midges. Oh, happy little shark. Hello. That's cool. Another one here. So tiny. Hello, mate. There's so many in the mangroves. Stingray. There's another one at the front there. One here. Camouflage so well. And one is over there. 
Oh, and the epilogue shark is coming. Hi, guys. Jack has found a pretty big and deep hole in there. Oh my god, I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Oh. Gotta get him around the other side. He's too big for his own hole. Be careful with your hands. Oh, oh my god. So much tension. Oh. Holy moly. Holy. Look at the size Whoa. of that. You. Beauty. Oh yes. Holy moly. We're just giving them a little clean and then we bring them back to the boat. So nice to get out of the mangroves. <laughs> Look at them. Ooh. Big boys, eh? Hey? They're so big. Awesome. Ooh. And heavy. And heavy. <laughs> Epic. Huge. Uh. So good. Boat's still where he's meant to be. That's good. All right, get your spear ready, Wonder Woman. We've got to run the gauntlet. <laughs> oh, I don't need it. Before we go, just have a good look. All right, let's do it. You ready? I think the frog can even kill this. No, it'd be like a toothpick yeah. to a gunfight, that would be. No dramas, Fran. <laughs> home sweet home. Gonna do a little fire below the high tide line. Nice hole you got going there, Fran. I'm excited for this. It needs to be a pretty bloody good tasting animal to justify going walking through the mangroves there because you just get eaten alive by sand flies. It stinks, it's hot. But these mud crabs, they're definitely worth it, I reckon. They are one of the best things you can get. Perfect hole. <laughs> well done. <gasps> Let's go get some fiber. Just picking up all the little sticks in the tide line. Yep. What's this thing? Oh, I know what it is. We got it. Yeah, the TP doesn't look quite as good as it did, but I think we're getting there. Burn all night, that now. Welcome back, guys. So, all the pigeons, they're all coming back. Uh, so, the pigeons like to roost on this island, and it's, it's quite eerie at night time. You can hear them going, ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. It's almost a bit spooky. But during the daytime, they take off for the mainland to go and feed on different fruits. Uh, they love the Wong'ai plum. Anyway, now right on sunset, they all come back, fly over our heads and roost up in these trees behind us. Pretty cool, hey? Now, mud crabs is my kind of cooking. Pretty simple, but so damn tasty. So, just knock the, most of the heat out, get a bit of a coal base going. And the best thing about it is you don't have to do anything. They're ready to go. Just chuck them straight on there. And you've heard me say it many times before, but it's actually my favorite way of doing it. All that smoke comes into the crab meat and oh man, it's just so damn good. Look at that. It's just as big as my hand. Yeah, yeah. Tonight, in the back to basic beach kitchen, giant mackerel and pumpkin. Straight on the fire. Beauty. This is where the magic happens. Go for it. Yeah, perfect. So the UFO sighting we saw last night was the Starlink satellites that going across the night sky. It was reassuring to hear and see footage of what these satellites look like and realize we hadn't lost our mind. You know, we hadn't had one too many overripe coconuts and gone loopy out here. <laughs> that was what we saw. It was quite the experience anyway. <laughs> we lost our cutting board. So this is the best option at the moment. <laughs> yeah, go samurai sword. Big chop. Perfect. Nice. Time to flip them over. All right, one, two, three. Oh, nice one. All right. Three, one, two, three. You want oh. to go the other way? Yeah. <laughs> 
They won't need too long on this side. I think they're almost ready. Put the pumpkin on. Alright, I think that's going to do them. You think it's ready? I think it's ready. I'm ready for it to be ready. It's going to be a bit of a balancing act, but let's take him up to the dinner table. Voila! Dinner is served. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. All the pigeons coming in now. We'll have to give these guys 10 minutes to cool down. Let's get that fire going again, cook Fran's pumpkins, and watch the nature show unfold as these pigeons come home. All right, dinner is served and ready to go. See how we went. Mmm, they're perfect in there. Yum, yum. So that one is yours and this one is mine? Yeah. Fire up. This is the best. Yeah, the best, eh? Seafood ever. <laughs> best seafood ever for Americans. This guy had, had a bit of a battle here. Check that out. An even bigger crab had crushed his claw at one oh, point. Oh, it might be the one that we saw the claw oh. left next to the hole. Yeah, maybe he won the fight. All right. Oh, it's oh really no. hard to see that one. Look at that. Yum, yum. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen it done like that before. <laughs> It'll still taste just as good. Hold it up, man. That thing's like bigger than your head. Difficulty? Five out of five. Difficulty five? Yeah, I think so. Five out of five doing it like that with a crab pot would be, in oh, some yeah. areas, would be easier. But difficulty five. And taste five. Difficulty five, taste five. Just wanted to say a massive thank you to you guys and to our Patreon to fund the adventures. And if you want to watch the episodes ad free a week in advance, go and join us on Patreon. There's heaps of behind the scenes and you can donate as little as $2 per episode. And yeah, otherwise you can keep watching it every Sunday. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bloody love you all and you are the reason we can do this. You make all this possible. Thank you.